Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are doing an AnyType tour and I'm going to do this a little differently. So I'm going to show you how I've set up my uh, AnyType with timestamps down below so you can jump around. But what I actually want to is to first of all give you some kind of inspiration on how you can set up your AnyType and secondly I uh, want you to ask questions if there are anything specific you would see uh, like to see a deeper dive on just comment it down below and i will uh, do a full on new like any type tutorial but i firstly wanted to just give you some inspiration and also figure out what uh, you that is watching the video and maybe using any type actually need uh, to learn more about because it can be a little bit of a hard application to learn but i have also made a full-on any type playlist which i will link up here somewhere in the card so you can check that out as well but first of all uh i'm on the any type 0 uh, 0.42.5 that's the version i am currently on uh, and just Keep in mind that even though I make a lot of any type videos, I actually don't use any type as my primary note taking app, but it is one of the note taking apps I spend the most time on uh, in the weekends and in my spare time because I like playing around with uh, note taking apps and it's just fun to try to build out uh, space. but. Uh, the app I actually use personally is my mind and that is probably the note taking app I spend the least amount of time on which is exactly why I have gone for that application. My biggest problem with things like any type is that I tend to spend too much time uh, inside of the application trying to optimize it optimize it but let's jump into. Uh, my graph view first of all so I have a bunch of things here I have my resources collection I have myself as a person I have the clothing brand this is actually something I'm going to remove because I no longer am a part of this clothing brand uh, I have my personal social media which is the project management side of things I have applications uh, so uh, I have any type as an application and I have all of the videos regarding any type uh, so I have a bunch of things here but let's go over the main uh, parts of my productivity space inside of here so let's do the resources or what I call the note taking part of it first so this is my resources board uh, and here I have like all of my notes with the object type. So what kind of note it is. A lot of podcast notes inside of here. Uh, this, I'm actually not sure what this is, uh, but I am pretty sure it isn't the right type. I think this is supposed to be a note, uh, but I have all of my uh, types here. So from tweets, books, articles personal thoughts everything is inside of here and everything has its own type the reason for why i give these different types is simply because it is uh, much easier to make templates or that's the only way you can make templates for each type and my different notes so my youtube notes uh, uh or my uh youtube book notes on this youtube secrets uh book or my article notes or my uh, tweets all are different they are different mediums and therefore they have different uh, like they should have different templates uh, I also have a graph view which I really like so um, this isn't something I have used extensively but I really want to get into using this uh, and I have played around with it in my uh, YouTube test space, if I can find that. Uh, I have played around with it inside of here um, to see uh, if it is possible to build out a Zettel custom system uh, inside of inside of your uh, inside of your notes and note taking database. Uh, as you just saw there, uh, I can click the resources database and sometimes you have some bugs in 
any type, I tend to be on the pre-release version, so I may have more bugs than most people, uh, but just something to keep in mind. This isn't a fully developed application yet, but uh, having a graph view just based on one specific collection or database actually makes it a lot easier to build out a Zettel custom system in your note taking if that is something you really want to try out. Um, I have this processed and not processed so uh, this is more of an inbox uh, whenever I'm on the go or whenever something is I'm doing something or I'm testing something out and I want to make a note about it. Uh, I like having an inbox and I like having a way to quickly capture it uh, and then I can go in and I can actually jump into this and look at it and decide uh, how uh, or what I'm going to keep out of all of the notes I've taken. This is uh, really good for something like Kindle highlights where I take way too many and then I have to go in and I actually have to delete some. I can do that when it's not processed and once it is uh, processed I just use a fil uh, I just uh, use a filter to move it into here. Uh, so that's actually what I'm using. I'm using different filters to get me different views. This I think has it all. Um, so that's basically my note taking inside of here. Uh, if I now jump back we can take a look at uh, this one is also a little fun. This is my actors and directors uh, collection uh, or actually it is a set it is a database uh, set uh, because there are only humans here uh, and I use uh, tags to differentiate between uh, actors and everyone else in my human uh, type so that's actually what I've done here and this is a part of my like fully fledged uh, a fully fledged movie database which I am trying to build out but I haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, so that is something I may do a video on later. Um, if we now jump back into my dashboard and we jump into my personal social media this is my uh this is my social media like database, but I would say that this is my project management database mainly. So if I jump in here, you can see that I have a few videos here. Uh, I sometimes just come and add videos here. As I said, I don't mainly use this application, uh, but I play around with it. And here I have a couple of views. So I have the not done view, which is just my basic table. I have a calendar view to see when things uh, should be posted or are planned to be posted. And then I have a Kanban view uh, here without any filters. I should probably add a filter in here to remove the things that are done. Um, so this is basically how a project management uh, database would look for me. This is a set based on the object type social media. I called it social media but this could be called social media ideas uh, and I also had the question on whether or not I should actually turn this into a collection and then make a type uh, out of all of the different social media posts so one Facebook post type one Instagram post type one YouTube post type you get the point uh, because those have different templates uh, and they are actually different but that is something I need to like play a little bit more around with as I said uh, and have said many times in this video not my main note taking app but I like to play around with it and use it in the weekends and just test it out as if it was my main note taking app because I like to make these videos and do tutorials on different applications so I have to spend time in a lot of them. I will not do an update right now. Uh, so that was my social media and we have covered like my resources here. We can do the tasks as well. Um, so this is a basic like task management uh, we have not done we have an all view uh, we have a kanban view and we have a calendar view this just shows me the date I like to work in the kanban view personally but um, here I have like related social media project because many of the tasks inside of here I actually used this as a project manager uh, previously so all of 
probably all of the tasks here were at some point related to one um, social media project. And as you can see, this only shows me social media things uh, because uh, this is a property or a relation, which is what any type calls it. This is an object relation that is limited to the object type social media. Uh, and it also has a due date and it also has like a related project here as well, which again in many most cases is uh, personal social media. As you can see, I use para inside of here. And that's basically like the most important things. That is what I need or would need to actually use this application. But I also do have like an app database here, which shows me all of the different apps and I have um. I have like notes on all of the different apps. This is actually something I still use. I'm building out um, my blog posts and my articles and I use this actually uh, simply because um, this has been something I've spent a lot of time building and there aren't many other applications that allow me to build something like this. So this is actually one part of any type I am still using. So that was the tour of my current any type setup. Uh, as I said, this changes almost every single weekend. And sometimes I do like changes and then I actually use the application for a few days to see whether or not it actually works. So uh, basically that's how my any type looks. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you want me to do specific videos on, uh, please do comment it down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and as usual, I hope to see you again quite soon and please do subscribe if you haven't already.